Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Thelma and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful honey. So we're going to be using two colors, but as we go ahead, as we go ahead in the tutorial, I'm going to be giving you all the details. So I'll be using this pattern because if you're making just one, you might not really need to use pattern. But if you want to make more than one pieces, instead of you to be going back every time you want to make to record, creating it on a pattern it just makes it easier. That way you can easily just paste your pattern and start cutting everything you want to do, right? So I will, I'm creating more than one, so I'm using pattern for this tutorial. So let's just go right into the tutorial. So what I have, I have this pieces of pattern, so I'm going to be folding it into four, fold it into two like this, and then fold it again. So I have it in four. This is the center. So from this center mark, I'm going to be placing my ruler this way to mark out 13 inches right so this is 13 inches 13 inches i'll hold it here and go ahead to do this all the way round on this this on this pattern so this is our 13 inches all the way so this is what we have i'm just going to go ahead to make this line I'll go ahead to make this line more visible. So after doing so, this is what we have. Yeah. So this is what we have. We have a perfect round circle. So I'm just going to fold back this in. I'm just going to fold this back. And this is the pattern we are going to be using to cut all the fabric we use for this opening. Yes, good. So I have this is the fabric I'm using. I have this beautiful navy blue and pink fabric. So I'm going to be folding. What I did is fold it into two. I have them in one yard each. The navy blue is one yard and this pink is one yard. So what I'm going to do, or what I did here now is to fold it into two equal halves. I folded the navy blue into two, I folded the pink into two this way then. I put them together and fold into four, like this. So now it's folded into four, right? So after folding it into four, you can see, into two like this. So now it's four, one, two, three, four, right? So I'm going to go ahead again to fold it this way like this so this is how it is right now or you can as well say folding the pink and the blue into two like this then you go ahead again to fold like this so it's, it's easy it's very simple if you follow this video i'm sure you're going to get it so just fold it this way ensure everything is equal then i'm going to go ahead to place my pattern on it this way so This way, I hope you know I have having more than one. So at the end of the day, we'll see how many, how many bony I'm getting from this one yard of fabric or two yards in total. So I'm just going to place this like this, and my things are not here, so I'm just going to go ahead to cut it up or cut it out with this pattern. So. After going now, we have to cut it off. We're going to take off our pattern now and see how many we have. So we have in total we have two. We have two of this. So this two will be for one, and this other two will be for one, right? So the next thing I'm going to do now is this is the front, the right side facing the top. I'm going to place this right side on top. So this is right sides facing each other. right sides facing each other. I'm going to go ahead to sew everything around and just leave a little opening. Let's just smash that out. Somewhere here, let's see. Let's say two inches. I'm going to leave this two inches mark open. So from here, I'm going to sew all the way around from here to this point. I'll do this for, I'll do it for both, for both of them. So, 
right here. That's why it's going to go with that. So mark around two inches. Like this, you're just going to go ahead to mark out two inches. I'm marking out two inches round this. So we're going to do this round. And on this marked out line, this is where you're going to sew with a straight stitch all around it. This is what we'll have. I'm going to add to, so this is a two inches mark that I went to, add to sew around. This is a two inches mark that I sewed around then. Also then, after that, I came like with, not even up to an inch. Just used this, um, that I want to use to mark out to just give, you can just place it this way. And not the length or the width to mark out, so that way. Just go ahead to mark, so, so this further line. So, I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn it this other way. I have two lines, so you can see it. So the next thing, this opening here that you left in the beginning, I'm going to go ahead to put this. I'm going to go ahead to put this all the way around. So, so you can see it's in between this part that you have created for it. So I'm just going to put this all the way around. So this is how it's looking right now. We are, in fact, we are done. So the next thing is just for us to go ahead and stitch this. When you stitch it in, of course, you put it inside this way, like so. And you go ahead to close all the remaining openings. Like this, you just give it a nice stitch to close all the openings everywhere. So if you find this tutorial helpful, if you find this tutorial helpful, do it to so subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification so you get to see more videos as we upload them on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. And we go to the front and the back. Beautiful.